Did you know that across the country this year, about 2,000 citizenship ceremonies are gonna take place? I didn't, but something did occur to me. What better way to celebrate our 150th anniversary than by ringing it in with some of the newest members of the Canadian family? It is my privilege to present to you 39 candidates for citizenship. Welcome to your citizenship ceremony. Say hello. Say hello, Canada. Say hello, Canada. Congratulations. Thank you. You're Canadian. Yeah, finally. <laughs> finally. How does it feel? Oh my God, it's magic. It's the most beautiful day for me. What was the process like? Actually, for me, the process was pretty easy because I've been here five years. Okay. Now I'm here today. And now you're here today. <laughs> Was good. Was there a moment during the ceremony that really sort of stuck out to you as being more emotional than the others? I like the speeches I made. Yeah. So you feel very comfortable, you feel very relaxed, you feel mostly welcome in Canada. Getting my certificate actually. When the judge said, okay, yeah, you're, you're Canadian. Canadian. Probably the anthem, singing the yeah. anthem. I've uh, heard it so many times, but first time to do it as a Canadian citizen. It's spine tingling. <laughs> Some a big round of applause. You're now a Canadian citizen. What sort of an honor is it for you to perform these citizenship ceremonies? Huge. You know, Canada accepts a lot of immigrants, mm -hmm. and uh, we also have a very high rate of immigrants becoming citizens. And that's something that we should be proud of that they have decided to put their lot with us and to make this society, to make our society uh, a much better place. I noticed also in your opening remarks, you acknowledged that we were on. Uh, indigenous people's land. This land on which we gather was first inhabited by indigenous peoples. So let us begin by acknowledging the city of Toronto as a sacred gathering place and still home for many indigenous peoples from across Turtle Island. The First Nations indigenous peoples have been stewards of this land for millennia. And we should not be forgetting where we came from, but we also should not forget where we're standing. And we are all learning how to work together to, to make this land more strong, mm -hmm. more beautiful, more sustainable, and more friendly. Congratulations. Thank you. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I get like that too. Wow. Wow. Jess, that looked absolutely incredible. It was a beautiful experience and joining us now is the man who directed that ceremony and others like it with the Institute for Canadian Citizenship. Please welcome Ali Khan Haji. <laughs> Well, thank you for having me. Now, you're with a national nonprofit that partners with the government to host citizenship ceremonies. Um, and so you've attended how many? I have directed in my role over 50 community citizenship ceremonies. Wow. wow. And does it ever feel routine to you? Honestly, never. You know, we, we do these events in such uh, warm, welcoming spaces. Uh, parks, galleries, Nathan Phillips Square, um, uh, you know, all places that have a commitment to inclusion. Each of them include our roundtable discussions, which are so moving and so uh, they're all different and they never feel, never feel routine. Oh, wow. You've spoken to countless citizens at these ceremonies. So what are some of the things that you hear from them? You know, I hear, I mean, each, we do uh, 75 of these in partnership with Immigration, Refugees and, and Citizenship Canada, coast to coast to coast. And, you know, you hear some of the, the, the things that every Canadian says, you know, the, the frightening Canadian winters and, and <laughs> our, our love for double-doubles. Yeah. <laughs> but, uh, you know, you often also hear about, uh, you know, the, the feeling of, of being welcomed. And, uh, you know, many new citizens say that they, they feel Canadian well before their, their citizenship ceremony. Wow. <laughs> You've heard so many stories and been a part of so many of these ceremonies. Is there one story in particular that stands out for you, Ali Khan? It's a tough question. I, you know, I've heard so many amazing stories. Um, there's one that comes to mind. We did a ceremony last year with uh, Toronto Pearson Airport right inside Terminal 3. It was in commemoration of the uh, first arrival, uh, first flight arrival of the uh, oh, wow. Syrian refugees. Um, and uh, <laughs> there was this, this wonderful moment where uh, one of the, the ladies, uh, one of the round table hosts, uh, she stood up and shared. Uh, that she had just met a new citizen at her table that she had worked with back in Pakistan and had not known that they were both in the 
the same country now. Oh, wow. And they had first just met at this ceremony uh, after 12 years. It's amazing. And so I, I see like stuff like that all the wow. time. That's a good day at work. It's a great day at work. <laughs> wow. So as you said, you've, done, you've been to 50 of these or so. So is there a part of the ceremony that's your favorite? Well, the, you know, the round table discussions, uh, they're followed by this, uh, by a short share back session. And uh, that's where we usually hear the, you know, I hear the most moving stories. Uh, there's another one that comes to mind. We did a ceremony last year in, uh, in Ottawa at uh, the Museum of Nature. And there was this uh, young boy who, who got up and, and shared on behalf of his table. And I noticed that he was, there was another young boy holding a phone recording him. And when I looked closer, it was actually his mom on a video call from back home watching him uh, oh. share at the ceremony mentioned it to the crowd it was you know not a dry eye in the, in the oh, house I bet. I bet. and it was uh, definitely one of my favorite moments so something that struck me when i was at the the ceremony was how much we ask and expect of new canadians and it occurred to me what can we do to welcome new canadians in a really meaningful way well, you know, citizenship is, is like a marriage. Uh, you know, it's, it's not a one-way street, not, not that I would personally know. Uh, but, uh, you know, it's uh, just, uh, it's, it's a commitment. It's a commitment that new Canadians are making to Canada, but that Canada is making to the new citizens themselves. And so we often say at the ICC that uh, diversity is a reality, inclusion is a choice. And it's, it's up to all Canadians to be active citizens and, and choose inclusion. Oh, man, well, that's good. Ali Khan, we can't thank you enough. You've just been such a treat. <laughs> and Jess Allen, thank you for joining us today. Always a pleasure. That is it for us today, but check us out on Snapchat and Instagram. On the next episode, the one and only Vanessa Williams and how to pair wine with music. Have a safe and happy Canada Day. We'll see you next time. <laughs>